Well, hello everybody. Here we are with BeamNG Drive, and today we're going to look at the uh, the AI scripting tool in the World Editor. So first, we're going to spawn another car here. And this will allow us to uh, have several cars moving along a path, any given path, uh, at once, and so we can um, script a scene. Uh, here we're going to just have two cars go over the uh, ramp over there. So we're going to go into F10 to pull up the world editor. And then the script AI manager right here. And uh, hold on, let me get my mouse working so you can see what I'm doing. I'll be right back. Alright, there you go. You should, you should see my mouse now. Okay. Uh, so we're in the second cloned sunburst here. And you can see the blue light here is indicating the car we're on. So first we're going to press this little record button here and we're going to drive the car where we want it to go. And then when we finish, we're going to save the file. So here we go, we're going to record. And we're just going to drive a little path here that we want it to go. And this will allow us to uh, have two cars going, or as many as we want at the same time. Stop that recording, and we're going to save it. And so we'll just call this ramp one. And then hit OK. So now this guy, you hit more over here, you can either reset that file, and that'll go away, and you can try again. Or if you like that one, you keep it and just reset the vehicle. That'll put it back to here, and you can see your, your uh, path is already laid out there. Now just tab over to the next vehicle, and you can see it's lit up right here, and the same thing. Just hit record. And turn to stay off that other path so we don't crash. And we're going to go up to the same ramp. Okay, now we're going to hit stop recording, and we're going to save this one. We'll call it ramp 2. and then reset the vehicle. Now these files will exist. You can change the cars and then load them to use these files. Um, you can put a bunch of cars on the same file. Um, don't do it at once though, because they'll spawn on each other and explode. Uh, so you have to wait till the first car gets out of the way if you're just using one path. So anyway, now you've got both paths laid out. If you wanted to get both cars to go at the same time, you could um, either pause and hit the buttons to get it to go or you can just hit this one and this will set everything down here to go uh, but first you don't want all this junk on the screen like if you're recording or something so what you do once you got your pass loaded and everything um, you're gonna hit pause you're gonna hold the pause button is it gonna pause for me probably not okay anyway so we'll just hit the button yeah, now we paused. Okay, close this window and that'll get rid of the scripts. Alright, now hit F10 again to get back into normal, more normal mode. There you are. Now if you unpause, both these cars are going to go and follow that path that they just, uh, that you just made. So let's get the chase mode, or how about orbit mode, it'll be a little bit better. Okay, and we're going to unpause and both these cars should go off that ramp at the same time. There they go. And how cool is that? So for example, you could have 10 cars lined up on 10 different paths doing whatever, or you could script a, uh, a police chase, for example. And, uh, and that's it. And they'll keep doing that once once they reach the end of the path, they'll go back to it and start. Uh, if you have it on a loop, that might be advantageous. Let's get back into the world editor, hit F10. And uh, pull up the script AI manager again. You can see these are just going to loop over and over again. Uh, this one isn't. The red one is. I don't know why. <laughs> Let's restart them both. 
So this way you could run the same scenario over and over again, different, get different camera angles or whatever you need to do. And of course you'd have these scripts turned off. And just stop and just hit stop and they'll both stop. And you can reset the vehicle so you can get staged up. And if you hit reset this button here, this will just get rid of the file. But you can load files by hitting this one. You can see I've got a bunch of them here. And so we get uh, close that. Let's make it play. We'll close this so you don't see this paths anymore. Hit F10 to get out of this mode. You can switch your cameras, whatever, and it'll just keep doing it over and over again. And you can get some nice footage doing that. All right. Thanks for watching.